Okay, and uh, welcome to the first video where we'll be looking at logarithms, which is a very important part of the A-level course. You will see the logarithms topic throughout the A-level and the pure topics and um, indeed within the statistics as well. So it's very important that we understand the basics and where logarithms come from. So what is a logarithm? Well, first of all, let's just go through a few things and just recap previous information. Logarithms are the inverse functions of exponentials. And at the moment in year 12, that won't mean too much to you because you don't know what an inverse function is as such. But all, all you need to know at the moment is that if you've got any exponential function, y equals a to the x, then the inverse function, log a to the x, can be drawn by reflecting the exponential in the line y equals x. So any log graph, log base a, always has this shape. Okay, It's a reflection of the exponential in the line y equals x. So that's quite an important graph for you to recognize. And it never touches the y-axis. So this graph will go on and on and on like that, and on and on downwards like that, but it will never touch the y-axis. OK, so what is a logarithm? A logarithm is basically another way of writing indices. It's a way which um, can help us manipulate harder equations and which is a very powerful technique when it comes to dealing with exponentials. So how do we define logarithms? Well, log base A of a number, if that's equal to a value, then we can rewrite that in exponential form. So this is the log form here, and this is the exponential form here. Okay. So I'll start from here, actually. Log base A of a number equals a number x. You can rewrite that as the base to the power of x equals what the number was here. Okay. So we'll have a look at a few of these examples. Uh, but before we get into these examples, just a few other things. At A level, when you, whenever you see log x written on its own, that always means log base 10x. And whenever you see ln x, that always means log base ex. This is a special case. Okay, So this is like a special type of log. So these are quite important for you to understand. Whenever you see log x, it's base 10. Whenever you see ln x, it's base e. So anyway, how do we use this rule to go between exponential form and then go back to log. Well, you got 2 cubed equals 8. Now, how do I write that in log form? So what I do is, I look at my formula, or my rule, any exponential, something to the power of x equals a number, can be written as log base of that number, and the value equals x. Okay, so I I, should, I can go between either of these forms, and in fact there should be a double arrow here, which means you can go between them, okay? You can go from left to right or right to left. So any exponential in that form, I can rewrite like this. So what I do is I just match up everything here. 2 cubed equals 8. So that means that log, and obviously 2 is um, a, so I have a base of 2. 3 is the power x, and 8 is the number n. So we'll have log base 2, 8 equals 3. And that's basically it. And if you were to type that value into a calculator, log base 2, 8, you'll, your calculator will give you a value of 3. Now log base 2, 8, in other words, as I said, can be rewritten as 2 to the power 3 equals 8. Okay? Part B, 3 to the power 4 equals 81. So again, I'll look at this. I think, okay, 3 is my a, so I'm going to drop that as the base of the log. 4 is the power of x, and 81 is the value of n. So I'm going to have log base 3, 81 equals 4. Okay, so I've just made sure my power goes on the other side of the equal sign, and the number of n goes on the left-hand side, inside the log. Okay, again, if you type that into your calculator, log base 3, 81, that gives you 4. Then you've got 16 to the power of half equals 4. Again, what's your base? 16 to the power of a half. So you can have log base 16. This 4 will go on the other side. And you've got half. Okay. 
Now, on its own, you might be thinking, well, what's so special about this? Why? What's so special about going for exponentials logarithm form? Well, you'll see why when you come to harder questions or we come to solving, how powerful logs can be. But essentially, it's another way of rewriting or rearranging these expressions into something else. Okay. So that's going from this side to this side. Okay, from exponential form to a log form. Now what we've got in question two, we're going from log form to exponential form. So I'm going to go from log form to exponential form. So I'm going to think, okay, log base 4 64 equals 3. What did that look like originally in exponential form? So I'm just going to compare it. Log base a n equals 3. And I've got to go a to the x equals n. So this is this 4 is your a. This value x will go as a power, and you get 64. 4 cubed equals 64. Okay? And that's it. 4 cubed equals 64 can be rewritten as log base 4, 64 equals 3. So you always sort of read this as what. Um, this number to the power of 3 gives you 64, okay? Right, again, I've got log base 10, 100 equals 2. So my base is 10, my n is 100, and this is 2. So I'm going to have 10 squared equals 100, okay? Yeah, the base was a, so 10 squared equals 100, okay? So these are equivalent statements. 10 squared equals 100 is, can be written as log base 10, 100 equals 2. Okay? So this skill of going from exponential to log and log to exponential seems pretty easy. Not much to it, but it's a very important skill which will form the basis of the next video. So there are some exer uh, exercises on this page. Um, well worth having a go at rearranging or writing in different in either form, log form or exponential form. Okay? Right, that's the end of the video.